Okay, guys, um, what I just showed you guys is this <clears throat> instant air fryer that I just bought. Um, if you watched in the beginning of the video, you know, I showed you the tray that goes in and out. Uh, these are the controls. As you can see, you got your air fry, you got your roast, your time, that sets your time, and this dial. You just turn that dial, and you have your temperature. You push that button, turn that dial to the temperature. Um, and then your time, your cook time, right here. And your bake, your preheat, and all that. So, <clears throat> basically, we bought ours, We I bought this a week ago at Walmart for, um, we got it for $100. So, it's a six quart, serves up to four. Um, what we've been doing, the things I've been cooking in this, um, I tell you what, guys, this made my life, our lives so much easier to sting. Because we're always trying to figure out what we're going to have to eat. And we always got like a, a messy cleanup, you know, and everything. Messy cleanup and all that stuff. So um, what you do is what I showed you in the beginning of the video where that opens up. And you get that screen, that, that thing I, I showed you that you lift up and down. And the easy cleanup too. But what we've been doing, um, I cooked a steak in here. I, I cooked a sirloin steak. And I set it on um, 400 degrees for 25 minutes. And then when you have it in there for a while, you reach up to your, before your 25 minutes, when you get up to like five minutes, then you turn to steak. I always cut the steak in half, you know, always cut it in half to, um, to you know, I always cut it in half. Um, that's what I do. Get over here with the... I cut it in half, and it's pretty good when it's cut in half, the steak. And then what I usually do after I cut the steak in half, um, I'll put it in there, and I'll turn them. You know, don't use any kind of metal utensils or anything, any metal in there, you know, because you'll scratch the surface of it. So use that. Um, the other night, I put pork chops in there. Very, very good. I set the pork chops at the right time, 400 degrees at 10 uh 25 minutes. Well, you got to keep checking on it. I put french fries in there. Uh, french fries are very good in there. Um, I just got done eating hot dogs in there today. I put the hot dogs in there for 400 uh, degrees at 5 minutes with the hot dogs. And you put slits in the top of the hot dogs, like an X on the top of the hot dogs. You put them in there and then you, you can turn them around like, you know, in that basket. And then... Um, Actually, when you get done with the hot dogs, I, we put ours in for 10 minutes. Check them and put them in for another five at 400 degrees. And then we take those out. After we take them out, we put them in the buns and then put the buns um, back in. That tray I showed you. You put the buns back in there. So it's very easy. So I had chicken, steak. We got this a week ago. I had chicken, steak, um french fries and um, we tried chicken breast in there last night too and it's delicious in there chicken breast so um i highly recommend one of these i mean these things are really really good i highly recommend one of these um it's an instance instant vortex air fryer and um I would suggest, like my brother-in-law got one of these, my sister and brother-in-law, and they said that don't get anything smaller than a five quart. You know, nothing smaller than a five quart. So this one's a six quart, and it's perfectly good for us. You know, like I said, you know, we're going to try different stuff in it. I haven't tried hamburgers in it yet, but we're going to try hamburgers in it and different stuff. So uh, these are awesome. Guys, I tell you what, this thing uh, saved my life, you know, as far as... Uh, it saves a lot of time. It saves a lot of energy. You know, going to the store, you know, and you, you, know, you know what you want in that. And it's pretty cool. I want to try baked potatoes in there next. I mean, you can put everything in the air fryers. I've had people talk to me that say they had them and stuff. And, hey, I definitely had to try them. We went out and bought one. And uh, I tell you what, I love it, guys. I highly recommend an air fryer. So very, very good stuff. Steaks are delicious. I put them sirloins in there. But you can put anything, you know, in there. You read the directions, but I put it in there and then, you know, all your stuff. 
but like I said, you know, I, we put ours on air fry. And um, see, as you see, you know, you have all the dowels. You have your time, your preheat, your air fry, and you turn your temperature and your bake and all that. Preheat and all that. So it's pretty cool. It's self expand. Uh, you know, it's really good. You read the directions real good. And that tray opens up. It's easy, guys. You plug it in, there's nothing to it. Open that up. And when I showed you the beginning of the video, you open that tray up. Really, really good. I mean, so this is the one that I bought. So, very, very good. And your food is healthy, too. You know, you don't have a lot of that grease cooking with and all that. We spray a little of olive oil spray, like on certain things, like the chicken. Put a little garlic salt, garlic, um, put a little bit of garlic powder on the top of the chicken, you know, with a little bit of pepper and stuff like that, and it's really good. So, uh, that's basically what we did. So, um, very, very good. So, uh, I just wanted to show you guys this air fryer. It's awesome. I love it. So, uh, everybody have a good Saturday night, and uh, thank you for watching Disco Bob Entertainment, everybody. Have a good one, guys.